We don't run it, pull up To be honest, a couple friends of mine, they was like, how do you start a YouTube channel? Get your views up and all that stuff. And it's like, it's so simple. And I just wanted to show this to them. But if y'all watching, you know, my, my, uh, my YouTube fan. Hey. Okay, so let me give y'all a little backstory on how I started. First off, I didn't even intend to make a YouTube. But I was on my Snapchat, May 3, three years ago, hair fertilizer. It was a product and it's on how to grow your hair. That was my first video and it's still on my channel. It's just way down there. Friend DJ was like, you should, uh, you know, make a review on it. Cause I was talking about it on there and a whole lot of people was interested and it was like, oh, you, you'd be cool on YouTube. And I'm like, yeah, I just posted the video saying how my experience was on the product and y'all I was not expecting like a week or two I, I saw the uh because I, I didn't know about all the stuff that could happen on YouTube you know like getting paid and you know endorsements and all that and so I wasn't really keeping tabs on the numbers and all that stuff but I was getting so many views on that one video like two weeks later it was probably like I want to say it got up to almost a thousand views and I'm thinking off this one video and it was my first video at that and I still wasn't really all into it but then my mom found my channel <laughs> and she was so mad I didn't tell her I made a YouTube because I didn't I didn't I really didn't tell nobody so she was like you should really start doing this and then she made a channel so it that's how all this started people asked me like what are tips to like get it booming, get your stuff circulating and all that stuff. I would say share your stuff. Share your stuff on your social media, you know, talk about it to talk about it to friends, all that stuff, family members, like the ones that'll actually support you. Like tell them to like view your stuff for like I'm gonna say two minutes. View view your uh, videos for two minutes, subscribe, comment, everything just do stuff because that stuff will like actually add up for the long run and if you just keep it up you're gonna be on the right track first you're gonna have to worry about the naysayers like people that just you know want to pick with you just to pick with you the randomest people on here they're trolls trolls yeah they're trolls they're hating on something some the smallest thing they want to twist your words around but of course you already know that's what comes with being in the public eye. I really don't care. It's actually funny to me. Like when people be in my, my comments or my spam talking a whole bunch of mess, it's like, I don't even know you. So what did you picking at me for? Like you don't know me. Obviously you don't know me because if you knew me in person and you, and you talking like this to me, you would just feel so bad. You would just feel so bad because I'm so nice. I'm to myself. I don't I get on this little YouTube thing it's like what did you pick it on me for and it be the people that have like zero people zero subscribers no picture nothing talking down at you and it's probably somebody you know I just be laughing for real oh you can do so don't let people get under your skin you definitely need thick skin to be on here of course people get on here you know to make money that's pretty much the whole thing of it but to me, I pretty much made a YouTube because I got family that I don't really see that much. And it's also very therapeutic. Like YouTube is very therapeutic if you shy, you just, you got anxiety. It's a great way to, you know, talk out your feelings and branch out. And then you can also meet people, not meet meet people. You do meet people, but you can meet people on here meet people from different states countries that that like I feel like the people I got on here they're like my distant cousins and I just you know 
Like, I feel like I know them. And it's so crazy. Like, some people live down the street or up the road or something. But YouTube is a really great experience. You grow. You grow along with it. You see your progress as a person. Um, you just building connections. Friends are like, I need a big camera. I need a fancy camera and all that. No, you don't, boo. You really don't need, like, top equipment to start a YouTube. You look at all the big YouTubers that you be watching. You know, like Jamie and Nikki, Latoya Forever. I used to, ooh, I used to binge watch her stuff. That's actually the one that really thought, got me thinking, ooh, I can make a YouTube. Niara and Ken, yeah, when they first started, I used to binge watch them when they first, first started. Like when they was living in the townhouse, I think. Y'all, they didn't have the nicest equipment either. Nicest setup, backgrounds, and all that stuff. But you see where they at, so you don't need fancy stuff. You don't need microphones, all that stuff, lighting. All that stuff catches up to you. Process, like I said, it's a process. And you need to, um, all you need is like, you can use your phone. You can use your phone. It had to be the nicest quality. People, as long as you got the type of, this is about to go when I'm about to say, but as long as you got the characteristics that people, you know, mess with, you're going to be good. Don't worry about all that stuff. Materialistic stuff is not really, it's, it's not really important. That's what I'm trying to say. All you need is a phone or a webcam or whatever. You good. Personality. You need to have, a, you know what? You don't need to have a person. Okay. Don't fake your personality. Do not fake your personality on for this YouTube. Because people can see right through that. Like, if you fake, people will going to know. People will know and they will not watch your stuff. They will not support you if you fake. Be yourself. There's like 7 billion people on this earth, ain't it? Something like that. A group of people are going to fill you. A group of people will flock to you just because of your personality. If it's going to track. Like, like, I get a lot of inspirational, funny, creative, lit people on my stuff most of the time. But that's what I attract. That's what I gravitate towards. Like, that's what that's the type of people that flock to me. Like, say you, you hard up. Or you, not mean, but you know, you stern, you the stern type, or you're the careful type, the adventurous type, people are going to come to you. They're going to go to whoever makes them feel more comfortable. A lot of people are like, ah, I want to start a YouTube, but I don't know what what's going to be my niche, going to be my go-to videos. To be honest, that's my problem. See, most people come on my channel and they look at the hair review, hair products, uh, or or my music stuff. Well, not my music stuff, but music I listen to, reactions, playlists. Like, that's really what I'm, you know, because I try to make, like, food videos one time. Like, my vlogs do okay, but people really want to look at hair stuff when it comes to my channel or the music side when it comes to my channel. Like I wanna branch off to like different places. Like I wanna put my art on here, do more vlogs, but it's like, I wanna keep doing the hair and music stuff to like get my stuff up a little bit. Recommendations up, recommendations come to you once you get like 1K. Sorry if I'm rambling y'all. What I would say is bring your hobbies to uh, YouTube. Like, say you win the sports. You could be, like, a sportscaster. Because y'all know how y'all just sit around watching basketball, football. Y'all talk about it. Why don't you just talk about it together? And, like, you know. If you like to cook, you should do cooking videos. Like, especially with people my age and we on a budget. Like, if you're in school or you just, you know, out here in the first time. Like, you, would, like you got a new place. And you're trying to, you know, cook for cheap. Why not do that? And if they got kids, you could do, like, cooking segments with kids or for kids for cheap. Healthy, organic stuff. You could do story times. I want to do story times so bad, but it's like... It's like y'all don't need to know all that right now. Like, if I ever become, like, a big, big YouTuber, story times seem messy to me. 
because there's always somebody that's gonna be like, were you talking about me? And I don't have time. I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't have time. You could do drive with me. Drive with me is, are my favorite thing, especially when people be eating and listening to their music. I'm like, oh, that's 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 how I am. That's how people want things people can relate to. Like, I have a lot of music friends, and it's like, y'all should. Why y'all put y'all music on your channel? You know, promoting it and all that stuff. You should, uh, you know, make it a little more personal. Like, don't tell all your business. You ain't even gotta talk, but like. Take us to the studio with y'all. I always wanted to see that because that seems so cool. Like, go on to the studio. See how they're coming up with their, uh, their craft. Like, you feel me? I'm coming up with ideas. So y'all, so y'all be like, oh, I could do that. Ba 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 ba. Vacation videos. I love seeing vacation, uh, vlogs. Like, seeing people go somewhere and it's like, oh, I want to go there. People really love traveling vlogs, like, especially if you're the type of person that goes somewhere every month or every two months, y'all should be recording that and, like, putting it on there so y'all can give people hope, <laughs> like me. You don't even gotta be, like, out of state, out of town. Like, you could tour your hometown. Like, a lot of people be messaging me, talking about some... Oh, I want to see Baltimore. What's it like? Baltimore, Maryland. Ooh. That's like, y'all really want to see this? No, for real. I seen this one video. I think it was my mom that showed me. She was, it was like, Baltimore after dark. I'm like, people really want to see that. Really want to see that. So, you know, there's something right there. You went to acting. You could do skits on there. A lot of people do their skits and they become like well known for them so you could do skits if you're the inspirational type like you always telling your friends like what they gotta do how to do it you know make inspirational videos for everybody or you ain't gotta do it for everybody but but actually you know be a little joel alstein if you will time to time i go to people that i know got like so much motivational tips and inspiration and positivity I go there when I need to. Um, if y'all have kids and you're not scared to put them on camera, you should show your kids every once in a while. Like, people love kids. Like, like me, when I watch, like, kid channels, I'm like, oh, I can't wait to have a baby. But I'm living vicariously through y'all because ain't nobody really that. <laughs> I got so many nieces on here that I ain't even met yet. Or, or nephews. Like, it's so... YouTube is introvert youtube is an introvert's dream it is but i'm also an extrovert so it's a way that i could be you know out there but not out there but showing my um but showing my personality i'm such an extrovert introvert mixed into one is so annoying because people they're not gonna always put up with that and that's okay I've, I've learned to uh deal with it but it's like they can see what i'm about eventually once i become comfortable with you because i'm i'm getting out there y'all i'm getting out there talking about my feelings more because people be like you don't talk about your feelings you to not keep stuff bottled up and it's like I'm cool I really admire the people that tell their personal stuff like you know their traumas you know their sicknesses their mental health like it's it's inspirational one day I'll get there sometimes I am there to the point where it's like I just need to talk to YouTube real quick there's so many things y'all can do people really making videos out here Okay, so you, mukbangs are popping. I get a lot of people on my mukbangs. Like, they really like to watch me eat. And the ASMR stuff. Like, people really like to hear that. I can't, personally. Because it just makes me a little, a little sick. But people love that. And it's like, okay. As long as y'all love it. People like to show off their, you know, what they buy. 
like their hauls and try-ons and someone's favorite things unboxing people love unboxing stuff like when you get stuff in the mail and you're like oh i got a package they love that i love it because i'm like oh what they get i'm nosy oh my gosh sometimes there's gonna be a little wild content out there yeah, of course there's pranks you know renee i don't think i think youtube's starting to pick up on a lot of pranks youtube is really strict so when you got all these viagra prank uh what else i got beaten up all these pranks they gonna pick up on it and you'll probably get flagged or something so you gotta be careful people will really watch anything like i seen this one this one video about this lady picking her dandruff and i'm like people want to see that people okay People really want to see this type of video. So if you got dandruff, you want to pick her stuff on there. Do you. DIYs. You know how to do your own hair. Um, fixing cars. Um, decorating homes and all this stuff. Car tours. You can do car tours. Apartment tours. There's so many things y'all can do. If y'all really need like content suggestions, like really let me know. So... I can get into your hobbies and then I'll dig in deep and be like, oh, you should do this, you should do that, because I'm really good at that. Oh, when you do vlogs, like if you in the vlogs, don't put too much content in there. Like probably do like two uh, two main events, like like do two big events, well not events, but like main topics, like you know, like don't crowd your your vlog with too much stuff because people become overwhelmed and I'm starting to learn that myself like only put like two big things in one vlog you know if I go one place or go another like daytime nighttime type of thing I don't want to overcrowd it because it's overwhelming and I don't know people not gonna really watch it like you can tell when somebody don't really watch your stuff so be careful on that let me break this down because I know y'all want to know about the money situation. So when I started YouTube, I didn't know I could have got paid right there. Because I had enough views. It didn't matter about the subscribers, watch time, all that stuff. I got enough views. But I didn't know. Okay, my mom was like, you should go look up this stuff. Because she found out that you get paid and all that stuff. And I'm like, what? We finally look. And it's like, they tell you what the guidelines are so you can reach it. And y'all... I could have been got paid. I could have been got paid off my couple of videos because I did more hair reviews and all that stuff. Oh my gosh. I got like over 60,000 on one video when I was like dyeing my hair, I think. I get, anyways, um, I got over like 60,000 views. Probably 100,000 views on like two, three videos. Put together and i'm like i could have got paid so y'all don't want to miss that moment i'm still pissy on that hold up i really could have got paid and i didn't even know but to answer y'all question no i'm not getting paid right now because they switched the uh the rules up right when i look right when i look when i told y'all i looked and it's like right when i look or the day after, a couple days after, they switched the rules up. And that's when I put my little request in to get reviewed. So I could get like ads and stuff. Y'all, I was so mad. <laughs> and my mom looking at me like, so disappointing. Now what you need, you need watch time. You know how you got like hours at work, you got to clock in. Um, You need to reach a certain amount of hours. And you need over a thousand subscribers. I got the thousand subscribers, but now I need the watch time. Like, how many, you know, how long a person is going to keep looking at your stuff. That's really important. Like, that's why I said, make sure it's for like two minutes or something. Each video, let a person look at it for like two minutes. It matters. It all matters. And make sure when you're watching your stuff, like, a lot of people will run their videos like their own videos um make sure you're not logged into your account 
YouTube gonna pick up on it. They gonna be like, oh, she watching her own videos. Blah, 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 blah. But eventually you will get paid and all that stuff. It might not be a lot, but hey. It's a start, right? Right. It's all about making memories. Memories, y'all, because I cannot tell I don't even look at my old stuff, but I know I made progress. I know. oh that's been my little you know, little sit down talk through. Hopefully my friends that wanna make it into won't bluff because yeah it is so much easier if you just do it I know it's easier said than done because it took me a minute but once you do it you just gonna be like oh I got the hang of this I want more I know there's tons more tips out here that I know but if y'all want to know some more let me know yeah like comment out your red button for me yeah